I'm in an amazingly good mood. I, um, I did a half marathon. <laughs> but this is what happened. I'm jogging along. There was a woman, about 60, who came up behind me, slapped my ass, <laughs> and honestly went, that's what I call good news. <laughs> She hit me so hard, she left a weird granny hand on my arm. <laughs> that wasn't even the weirdest part. The next day, I couldn't walk. 13 miles, I was strutting around the house like a newborn pony. <laughs> so I had a massage. I had a massage off the poshest campus man I'd ever met in my life. I'm laid on my belly. This was his opening sentence. He's rubbing the back of my leg. I honestly went, oh, dear God. <laughs> This is unacceptable. <laughs> What's unacceptable? <laughs> Your hamstrings, dear boy. They're rock hard. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he starts rubbing my thigh and went, oh. And I was like, What's wrong? Ridiculously stiff. <laughs> Then there was an amazing moment. He accidentally brushed his hand against my cock. <laughs> there was a moment of tension, and he looked at me and went, finally, something soft. And <laughs> I laughed so hard. I have never been complimented for that in my life. I heard a rumor about me the other day. Apparently, I'm the kind of straight bloke that would be quite good at gay sex, <laughs> but I would cry afterwards. <laughs> And I now want to find a gay man to have sex with him just to prove to the world that I won't cry. <laughs> but apparently, that's not the kind of challenge that comic relief are interested in. <laughs> What's well, interesting, because I read today, apparently, English kids are the most depressed in the developed world. Did you know that? Yeah, it's hard for me to get my head around, because you've got it all. iPads, 